Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Friday, 19th of July 2024. And today's topic is continue in intercession. Praise the Lord. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we bless you. Thank you for this week, it has been a success. And thank you, Father, for waking us up healthy and strong. Thank you for the gift of life. We are not taking it for granted. Thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome. Today's topic is continuing in the intercession. I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of times be made for all men, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. In all godliness and honesty. That's First Timothy 2, verse 1 to 2. Our world isn't at the mercy of Satan and his murderous antics. As long as we take our place, interceding for the nations and those in position of authority, the plans of the enemy will not materialize. We are the ones to see to it that God's purpose is perfectly is fulfilled in the earth and in the lives of all men. He gave us the authority, the ability, and the responsibility. In Ephesians 6, 18, the Spirit says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and washing thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Our intercessory ministry is through. Sorry about that. My phone is just moving away. Our world isn't a mercy of Satan, praise the Lord, and its monstrous antics. As long as we take our place, interceding for the nations in those positions of authority, the plans of the enemy will not materialize. We are the one to see to it that God's purpose is perfectly is fulfilled in the earth and in the lives of all men. He gave us the authority, the ability, and the responsibility. In Ephesians 6, 18, the Spirit says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in spirit, and washing there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Our intercessory ministry is through and by the Spirit. As we pray in intercession, the Holy Spirit takes all together with us against the forces of darkness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To establish the righteousness of God in every place. Part of the result is what it says we experience in the latter part of our team scripture, a quiet and peaceable life in all good godliness and honesty. Another amazing impact of our intercessory prayer is that through it, we bind the strong man, Satan, or else how can one enter into a strong man house and spoil his goods, except he first binds the strong man. That's Matthew 12, 29. For us to record a massive affairs of souls in the nation of the world, as we should in these last days, we must break the power and influence of Satan and demons over the mind and lives of those who haven't yet known the Lord. As we pray, declare that the power and influence of Satan and his demons over their life are broken in the name of Jesus. Proclaim that as Proclaim, hallelujah, that as they hear the gospel, they understand and receive it for their salvation in Christ Jesus. Intercession is always on behalf of others. You are directing God's grace, power, and influence towards others and pleading your case in their interest. That requires opportunity, consistency, and fervency in prayer. James 5.16 So keep praying. Don't stop until the will of God is fulfilling as established praise to lord hallelujah continue in intercession what is pastor helping us to understand we should continue praying praying for our brothers and sisters all over the world don't stop until you see changes praise to lord hallelujah because prayer will bind satan hallelujah hold in their lives praise to lord because you cannot enter a strong man without binding him before you spoil his goods praise to lord so you 
pray continue for your brothers and sisters all around the world so that the way they get the word of god it will gain impact in their lives praise the lord so with that being said let's take the prayer of confessions together dear father i thank you for the spirit of prayer and intercession in the churches of christ today in the as we pray your righteousness is established in the heart of men as the light of your glorious gospel shines over evermore brightly upon the nations in jesus name amen for that study you can look at james 5 16 18 first john 5 14 to 15 and look 18 verse 1 when your bible reading plan at 26 verse 2 to 18 and psalm 17 to 18 to your bible reading plan galatians 5 20 to 26 and isaiah 39 so at a leisure time you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of jesus thank you so much for joining in this morning i trust you have been blessed by today's devotional and if you're here you've not given your life to christ this is an opportunity for you to do so all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this, and look for a believing church and worship for God. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you'll be first to be notified. Please share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus' name. Before we go, let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you because many are saved through this word today. And thank you, Father, for all that we needed today. You have provided in abundance. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.